Hi, my name is Roxy Victorian and I'm the Dance Content and Instructional Specialist for East Baton Rouge Parish Schools. My advice to parents of young artists would be to foster a work ethic, to hold them accountable, to encourage practice at home, outside of school, and encourage other classes that may help foster that wonderful talent of theirs. Hello, my name is Allison Singleton, and I'm an instructional specialist with the EBR Fine Arts Department. I oversee drama, graphic, and media arts disciplines. Today we're talking about talking points on how to help prepare your child um, as a student in the arts. What I would like to suggest is that you start working with your child early, building their resume. We know that as parents, you're at every performance, you're helping encourage them to practice for those performances or build portfolios. Please keep up with everything now. It's never too early to start gathering those things so that they are well prepared for the future. They will need to have easy access of a compilation of their works that they can present in an instance for an interview um, or going to college or even for a professional performance. Um, those are things that you want to make sure that you keep track of and keep building upon all the way through their high school and even college years. Another point is that you want to consistently work with your child on constructive criticism. Many times children take comments or negative feedback to heart and they need to understand that it's all for helping them to get better. So as a parent, I think it's, uh, it's great to have those healthy conversations and show them that sometimes you may not always get the part that you want, but just to keep working and never give up. And lastly, always listen to your children. Sometimes we may fall out of love with a particular art form, and that's okay. Encourage them to finish strong and continue to seek what they truly enjoy. Always be their unwavering and continued support. Thank you. Hi, my name is Glenn Sherman. I serve you as an instructional specialist for music for our school system, be that our bands, our choirs, our orchestras, and our elementary general music. There's a couple of things today, ladies and gentlemen, that I'd like to point out that you could help out your student with music. None of it requires that you are actually a musician. Number one, please monitor your child's practice at home, whether they're playing an instrument or singing in a choir. You know, that's our homework. Your students' musical teachers are rarely going to give things that you see from math and science, like worksheets to do, or papers to write, and so forth. But that practice, playing an instrument or singing at home, that's our homework. And secondly, you know, band is a team, just like any ball, any ball club. So if your child's school, their, their organization or their class has an after-school practice, they really need to be there, please. You know, your child is relying on somebody else's student to show up for practice, to do their job. And of course, somebody else's parent, grandparent, guardianship is relying on your child to be there, to do their part as well. So please, if possible, Schedule those doctor's appointments around the after-school practice. You'll be happy and you're, that you did, you'll be happy that your child did, and your child and his team will be able to be successful. Thank you.